Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to uh, wire up a tack. Um, this is a 97 Tercel. Okay, so here I've run the wires down through the dash and there's a green wire that I had to run through there because I couldn't find a grommet or hole through the firewall. Usually you'd want to go through the firewall so it's nice and neat but uh, I'll explain this wire in a minute. So to start off with, <clears throat> there's four wires that come off this tack. The green one goes to an ignition source, and there's a white one, which you can see right there in the uh, 5 amp fuse, and there's a red one, which is positive, and there's a black one to ground. So what I've done was, the, gra uh, the black one, I just bolted that to ground, so when I had this dash cover off, I just found a bolt, undid it, and put it like, just in between the bolt, and snugged the bolt up and put it real tight so, uh, so it was getting good ground. And for the red one, it's kind of a jimmy way, but you know what? The only other way to do this properly is to really splice it and like solder it in and everything, but you know what? It's just a little tercel, so I'm just gonna do it this way. So um, what I've done was I took out a fuse, and of course you're gonna wanna make sure it's the right fuse. So what I've done was I checked which fuse was what. You can see that. That's not zooming. There you go. And uh, so, anyways, the red one is just the constant power, constant positive power. Um, it's switched, of course. The the fuse that it's in is actually the ignition switch fuse. So whenever the ignition turns on, I'll do it here for in a second. It lights up. And the white one is actually for um, like an illuminating one. Uh, it's the dimmer fuse. And that's basically hooked up to this dimmer switch right here, which controls like the dimness of the lights. So whenever I dim the switch, the gauge dims too. You don't necessarily need a dimmer switch or, or even to have it to a dimmer, but I just did it anyways. So, you know, just because I had access to the, the fuse right there. So if you don't want to use a dimmer, link it to your positive ignition wire. So now that I have the other three wires taken care of, I'll get to the fourth one. That's the, that's the green wire. So what I did was I ran the green wire right through here, through the thunder, and I ran it to the ignition module. I went online and I searched um, which wire off the ignition uh, module had the actual power source. And it turned out it is a black wire with a blue stripe. Okay, so make sure you get the right one because you won't get the proper signal without it. And what I did was there's a little splicer that actually came with the uh, with the with the tack. Usually they're like two dollars or something in a store, and I just spliced it on there. So that was pretty simple, and that's basically it. It's very simple to wire up like a tack. It's just a matter of locating where the ignition module is. Other than that, that's all you gotta find. I also just wanted to point out that if anybody has uh, done it my way, that green, that, that running the green wire uh, just over to the fender there makes it not viewable from when the door is closed. So, you know, it's not like you have a big ugly wire hanging out there. And there you have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.